located in the Rocky Mountains at the base of the Rampart Range. We're in Colorado Springs for today's game. Throwing the ball is going to be a nightmare on this windy and cold night as we get set for the Air Force Falcons and the Midshipmen of Navy. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler with Kirk Herbstreet, Lee Corso, and Aaron Andrews. It's time for some college football action. We're ready to bring you a football rivalry between two proud service academies. Navy is going to come out and display a very high-powered offense led by none other than their very talented running back. Now, this guy is all about big plays, Brad. You always have to keep your eyes on him because when you forget about him, that's when he'll kill you. So the pregame routine's over, and we're ready for the coin toss. Kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. From the five-yard line. Gets to about the 27-yard line. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. They'll go to work at the 27. We've got a first and 10. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. go with the option and he carries the ball for a nice game he keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four second down and five ball on the 31 Walker comes to the line under center three wide formation Walker options out he's tackled at the 34 yard line and he gains around three on that keeper the ball carrier almost snuck by there but this junior linebacker made a good stop yeah these linebackers don't miss too many tackles he's gonna try and scramble decides to tuck it in and he's got space well everyone was covered so he took it himself for the first down I really like a quarterback that isn't afraid to tuck it in and run this guy is fearless he'll put his head down and take a hit too he doesn't care Mack gets a pitch and he shoved out of bounds around the 43 yard line two yard pickup he wasn't able to get much there with that middle linebacker blitzing yeah the defense had all the holes plugged up there second and seven ball on the 43 yard line Walker steps to the line of scrimmage. Three receivers wide. Walker running the option. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. And he's taken down at the 22-yard line. They complete the long pass that time. And remember what we talked about. It's extremely important for this defense to stop him here after giving up that big play. This is very important. You don't want that water leak to turn into a flood. <laughs> no, you don't. He's under some heat. Touchdown, Navy! He was scrambling for his life. Well, that's just great coverage by the defense, but the quarterback did a nice job to tuck that one in. And he hits the PAT. Let's take a glance at the drive summary. Navy is lining up to kick this one off. He sends it off. Dawson fields it at the 18. Gets to about the 41-yard line. The scoreboard says 7 to nothing, but I don't think these guys are too concerned. I don't think these guys are scoreboard watching yet, Brad. They just need to stick to their game plan and execute like they did all week in practice. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Lane gains about four yards on the play. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. They line up in an eye. Thomas off the fake. The defender had it and then dropped it. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. 
Five DBs on the field. Thomas, back to pass. Gets it out to the back, first down. He might have a chance. The 10. And they tackle him at the two-yard line. That was a nice play. You know, we talk about this every week, adjusting to the blitz. The quarterback and the receiver do an excellent job of recognizing the blitz and adjusting to the play. Good-looking pass. They're inside the five. Ball on the two. They line up in the red zone for the first time today. Here's the option. And he's tackled around the one-yard line. A gain of a yard on the quarterback keeper. So at the end of one... Our score here in Colorado Springs, the, the midshipmen, the seven, the, the Falcons, nothing. Seven, Air Force, nothing. That brings up second and goal, one yard to the goal line. They line up in the jumbo set. They'll try the fullback and plows ahead for the touchdown. Nice time to use the fullback there. I've always liked when teams mix it up and give the fullback the ball in goal line situations. If the big bruiser can't get you a couple of yards, you don't deserve to get in. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary. Right there, ready for the kick. He kicks it off. Gibson takes it at the four. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. The defensive line needs to get more pressure up front. This O-line is just having their way with them. That really is what's helping this back get to the second level and really pick up some major yards. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Walker running the option. Can't find anyone open. Runs with it, and he's got room. Whoa, he just took a licking. This quarterback has some wheels, and he used them to pick up a first down. From their own 33-yard line, first down. Walker lines up under center. Three wide receivers. On play action. Walker with great protection. Here they come. He's scrambling. He rolls out to the right. And he's level at the 36. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. The offense calls a timeout. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 36-yard line. They're calling an audible. They'll line it up in the flex bone set. Setting up play action. Plenty of time, and now he's on the move. It's third and eight. Ball on the 36. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. Here's the option. Scrambling around. Ouch. I bet the big man was thinking about a pick six a little too early, huh, coach? <laughs> pick six. Even if he caught it, he wasn't going to make it six feet, much less score six points. And he shoved out of bounds at the 28. Pretty good drive last time out for this offense, right, fellas? They did a very good job of moving the ball forward. And this defense had no answer for the offense. And in particular, it was the passing game. This quarterback was really hot on that last drive. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. He overthrew his tight end. I know the tight end has a little more height than the wideouts, but give me a break. Back to pass. They'll 
bring him down at the 30 yard line. The defense calls a timeout. Third down, eight yards to go. A minute left in the half. Thomas lines up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers. They run it for the first, and he stops. The defense calls a timeout. Fourth down. The punter comes on the field, getting ready to send one off. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. He fields a punt at the 20. Gets to about the 34-yard line. A good return there, guys. I'll tell you, the blocking was tremendous on that play. You're absolutely right. He made some good moves, but the blocking was solid. They bring him down. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. This defense uses a very good blitzing scheme. It's easy to see why they are usually so successful. Walker is under center. Three receivers wide. Looks like an option here. And he's brought down. The 48. Good luck and play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. Yeah, but don't forget to play that receiver that time. He made some really nice moves. He wants it all going long. And he's finally shoved out at the 17-yard line. This kid has some spring in his legs, Kirk. Sure seems like it. He also has some pretty good hands to be able to snag that ball to get a first down. This will be the first snap inside the 20 today. They throw the flag, and I think they got him for grounding. I don't think the quarterback thought the call was a very fair one. He'll argue that he was throwing to one of his receivers. <laughs> but they didn't buy that. We've got a second and long. Try to change the play. Man in motion. He scrambled to the end zone. The field goal unit's out on the field. They're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. It's up. No good. He missed it to the right. And we're just about set to get things underway here in the second half. Short kick. He didn't get a hold of that one. Gets to about the 41-yard line. So let's see how the defense will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. The defensive back's moving in closer. Three wideouts here. Brought down at the 42. I'd say he got one or two feet on that try. Thomas is in the shotgun. Four wide formation. Miller gets a carry left side. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. From their own 49-yard line. Third down. Five DBs on the field. They run for it and a major collision. They attempted to pick up the first by running it, and they failed. Yeah, the defensive line won the battle easily that play. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Walker comes to the line under center. Two tight ends. On play action. He goes out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. A pretty nice game there for the quarterback. If he can keep this up, he's going to have some nice numbers at the end of the game. Walker drops back. 
Complete. He's got room. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. Mack takes it left. Runs outside for a nice game. That'll be a gain of five. Second and five. Ball on the 35. Three wide outs here. Here's the option. And he might want it all here and does. Missed him. He tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. From the 35-yard line, it's third down. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. He may have changed things up here. Scrambling around. He throws it, and he's taken down at the seven-yard line. Good pickup for the first down. Hey, hey, Kurt, forget about the first down. How about that big chunk of yards they just picked up on that play? Yep, it definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. This defense is looking to make it three straight trips to the red zone without a single point. Walker on the option. Runs outside for a nice game. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the one. They'll line it up in the flex bone set. Here's the fullback touchdown. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. And now that these guys have broken the tie on that touchdown, we'll have to see if their defense can hold on to the lead. And he adds the extra point. And here's our drive summary. Pendleton gets set to kick this one away. Short kickoff. Bates fields at the 17. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. Thomas is in the shotgun. Three wide receivers. Thomas fakes a handoff. Throws under pressure. It's picked off. And he's taken down at about the 29-yard line. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. play action now he's on the move he's under some heat now he shows his running ability slides down to the ground a big gain for the quarterback I'll tell you what guys this guy's pretty athletic just like you when you played at the old Buckeye Stadium I don't think this was a design play but it worked like it was and you're right if I'm the coach I'd let this kid run it more three yards there on the play We've played three, and we're locked in a tight one with a score. Navy, 14, Air Force, 7. It's second down. Here they go. The defense backed up into their end zone. They'll line it up in the flex bone set. They'll run the option. Touchdown, Navy! No need to pitch it as the quarterback's able to run it in. I'll tell you what, when you're a quarterback and a goal line is right there, it's pretty hard to pitch the ball when you think you can get in. That's a smart decision to keep it for the score. That score leads us to our drive summary. Pendleton looks ready to kick this one off. 
kicks a short line drive. Cobb fields it at the 24. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Watch out for this defense. They've shown they can take advantage of the smallest of mistakes. Fires deep down the left side. He's got it! And he's all the way in for the touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. There must have been some defensive confusion on this play because there's no reason that this guy should be that wide open when he caught the football. And he adds the extra point. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Air Force kicked this one off. He kicks it off. He'll return it from the one. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. So, fellas, what's your attitude at this point in this game? This has turned into a good one, Kirk. A big defensive stop on this drive, and we have ourselves a game again. And I definitely think that the momentum is on the defensive side of the ball, Coach. But this offense can end that in a hurry with a few first downs. Here's the option. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And Kirk... The defense has to do a lot better job of defending the option. Mac gets a pitch. He's on the run. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 40. They need to go back to this kid. That was a great first down run. Navy is up by a touchdown. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They'll go with the option. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. It's second and seven. Ball on the 43-yard line. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. They'll run the option. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. four-yard line. Third down. They'll line it up in the flex bone set. Looking to throw. Under pressure. Rolls right. Caught, and he's hit immediately. The defense calls a timeout. It's fourth down, and they're ready to punt this one away. Plenty of hang time on this one. Oh, hit as he caught it. Well, Coach, a field goal is out of the question here. They need to get the ball into the end zone. Yep, this is four-down territory. You better score now or it's all over, sweetheart. Gone. EA Sports and Russell Athletic would like to congratulate today's players of the game. Nice job, guys. Nice play across the middle. Tackle around the 39-yard line. Looked like the linebackers bit on that play fake. I didn't even know the quarterback had the ball. That's worth a yoke. Fakes the spike, looking to throw it. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Yep, you got to stay on your toes every play. Otherwise, you allow plays like that. The defensive back's moving in closer. Back to pass. Scrambles outside the pocket. And the defense comes up with a good stop there. Yeah, remember that the clock does not stop unless they get a first down, get out of bounds, or call timeout. Thomas steps to the line of scrimmage. High formation behind him. Quick strike. Out of bounds. This isn't the NFL, sweetheart. Just get one of those big old feet down. The defense comes up tight on the coverage. Thomas lines up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers. Looks to throw. Here comes the pressure. 
and they get the sack. It looked like they caught the quarterback by surprise. Well, that's a great call by the defensive coordinator. They send him off the corner, and he just uses his speed to get the sack. With the blitz coming like that, they just didn't have time to set up the screenplay. Great play by the defense. So they'll keep the drive alive with a first down pass. It's fourth down. They've got the offense on their heels and they've let them do that. I don't think it was bad defense. It was just a good pitch and catch for the conversion. That could have easily been a turnover. Yeah, I don't even think the quarterback even saw that guy. Well, he almost saw him running the other direction with the football. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. The linebackers are looking inside. Big play, and it's first and goal. Look at that big guy go. This guy will block you the entire game and then make a huge catch when you're not looking. Touchdown, Falcons. There it is. That's just a touchdown they've been looking for late in this fourth quarter. Oh, my gosh. This one is coming down to the wire. It's got to be one of the best games we've seen all year. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. But here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Jones looks ready to kick this one off. Decent kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Guys, what do you think about this situation? This is the rule I've always used, Kirk. If you're inside the opponent's territory at this point of the game, I'd say go for the win. Otherwise, let's go into overtime. Yep. The way you don't want to lose the game is on a mistake, like an interception or a fumble. Exactly. Walker fakes the handoff. Doesn't get there. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled. So we're going to overtime. So here's the coin toss for overtime. If I win the coin toss, I like to put my defense out there first. That way my offense knows what it has to do when they get the football. And it also puts added pressure on the defense to make a stop if their team didn't get a touchdown. They line up in an eye. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. This is a heads-up play by the linebacker. He's playing run and had his eyes on the guy carrying the football from the get-go. Good defensive play. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. Lane gets about a yard on the play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Thomas steps to the line of scrimmage. Two backs in the eye. Drops back to pass. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Now that's the way to get in there and break up a pass. And more importantly, Coach, it brings up a fourth down situation. It's up, looks long enough, and it's right down the middle. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen on this second series of overtime. First down, 10 yards to go. They'll line it up in the flex bone set. They'll knock him down for a loss. Hey, Coach, the linebacker sniffed that play out from the start. Yep, he wasn't going to be denied that tackle no matter who was trying to block him. They line it up with three receivers. Walker with a nice play fake. Rolls to the left. And he's tackled at the 14. They'll get the first down. The reason why he got so much room to run was because the defense didn't contain him. Yep, coach, he made the correct decision to tuck it and go. They come to the line in the flex bone formation. Option. And they got him for a loss. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play red and sealed it off from the get-go. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. 
Ball on the 15 yard line. They'll line it up in the flex bone set. He's in trouble. Rolling out to the left side. Tackle made around the 14-yard line. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread them out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. Walker is under center. Three receivers wide. Here's the option. Both players were very aggressive in going after that ball. This could go either way. Well, that's just too bad. They made the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Walker lines up under center. Three receivers split out. Walker running the option. It's over, folks. It's over. Have we seen it all or what? I can't believe it, Brad. I'm speechless right now, guys. I don't know if it was the amazing display of fourth down heroics we just saw or if it was the decision not to bring out the field goal team. Whatever it was, it has me for a loss of words right now. I hear you, Kirk. But you know what? That was probably the most confident way you could possibly win a football game. Those guys deserve to win this game today. In all of my years, that has to be one of the top 10 courageous play calls I've ever seen. Unbelievable. So as we take a look at the play of the game, Lee, what'd you think of this one? I think both teams showed everybody why these two teams are considered big time rivals. Every time one team did something, the other would fight right back. Heck of a ball game. Folks, thanks for tuning in to another game of NCAA Football 10. Along with Aaron, Lee, and Kirk, and everyone here.